heard your mother say, <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Mmm. You like that, Craig? You like that? And, and welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to Criticade. <laughs> Looks like we got a mystery on our hands. Come on, gang. Let's get to the mystery machine. <laughs> he throws on like a handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect foul play. Looks like this is a prime case for world-renowned Detective Sledgem. Oh. Dude. It's time for a bro venture. Oh, or, I mean, bro, bro adventure, adventure. <laughs> but bro venture for sure. A bro oh, venture. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> we high five and decide to jog back to the park to see if we can find any leads. I found some reeds. <laughs> I've even found some beads. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. You handled the rhyming portion of the mystery. <laughs> See, <laughs> so it looks like there's a couple more places to check and some bros around here that we can interrogate. Sounds good. Bro. Wait, who's good cop Oh, and shit. who's bad cop? I think about it for a second. Well, I think that with your stature and overall resilience, you would make an intimidating bad cop. But on the other hand, you do have an adorable baby strapped to your chest, so that softens the edges a bit. Mm -hmm. Valid points. I think you would make a great good cop because of your congenial attitude and willingness to try new things. Sure. <laughs> but then again, I've seen how you get when there are too many commercial breaks Ugh. during a show, so you have the potential to be a scary bad cop. I don't want to have to watch Meat Hell in three-minute segments with five minutes of commercials in between, and they're loud. The commercials are too loud. I just want to watch my shows in peace without people yelling at me to buy wiper fluid and stuff. Case in point. Let's play it a mo let's play it moment by moment. Oh. Smart. Mm -hmm. So, where to, protective? <laughs> uh, playground, the fields, or the woods? Up to you. Uh, I'm gonna save before we do this in case we want to go back. I I have a feeling it's it's in the playground. I f I think some kids stole it. Okay. So let's let's try that out. We make our way over to a small playground at the edge of the park. A couple of kids play in the jungle gym while parents watch on nearby benches. Over on one of the benches, I spot a familiar face. Who, who is it? Oh, Joseph. Hmm. I interrogate. Look, look, for look for clues. Look for clues. Craig and I, two grown adults, walk onto the playground and begin examining it meticulously for clues. There's no forensic evidence here. No stray capybara hairs, at least. After searching fruitlessly for some time, we look up. All of the parents are staring at us. We smile and wave as we awkwardly slink away. We head back to the playground. Interrogate Joseph? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what Joseph's up to. We jog over to Joseph, who seems to be engrossed in his book. Hmm. Joseph! Yeah. Yeah. Joseph nearly drops his book. Yeah. Hey, guys! Didn't think I'd see you two out here. Keith, are you exercising? Sure am. You know me. Just love to run and be healthy. That's kind of my whole thing. What are you reading? Oh, oh just a book on knots and <laughs> rope tying. For boats! Boat robes! Right. Hmm. Oh, I forgot that he's, he's <laughs> constantly on the verge of a mental breakdown. Yeah. <laughs> Craig? Oh, say, didn't you You didn't happen to see a stuffed capybara around here, right? Mm. Yeah? Oh, what's a capybara? It's a large rodent that's native to South America. Joseph thinks for a second. Uh. Hmm. I haven't seen one around. I'll tell the kids to keep an eye out. Your kids are here? Bro. Joseph looks around. Old McDonald. They were a second ago. He said old McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> must, <laughs> must have gone exploring around the park. Do you know where they could have run off to? <sighs> They're kids. They get into mischief sometimes, but they always come back. <laughs> that sounds a little suspect, uh, Joseph. It kind of does. Mischief, you say. Old McDonald. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, am I... Am I being interrogated right now? Oh, good cop or bad cop? Only if you did something so wrong. wrong. What are you hiding, Joseph? Oh. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Kinda getting the third degree here. This is serious. There's a copy bar on the line. Are we 
it. That's it. That's the line, Jacob. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was, he was asking us to check Christian or Christy. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Joseph. We'll let you get back to your rope book. Oh. Bob ropes! <laughs> we head back to the playground. Try to calm, river, to down. calm river down. This is a pretty nice playground. Maybe as well. Might I as well get well. a couple swings in. What about Arnold? Maybe I, having a I little started that as Joseph and edited his correct. <laughs> calm river down. Might buy us some more time. You're right. Aw, yeah. She's about to go nuclear. This might prepare her for the possibility of us not being able to find Arnold. Life is cruel and tough, but at least we'll always have swings. Craig straps River onto the baby swing and gives her a gentle push. She giggles. <laughs> <laughs> I take a seat on the swing next to her and immediately realize that I'm stuck. River seems to love that. Craig eventually helps me out of the swing, and we decide to get back to the investigation. We head back to the playground. Okay, so move to Just another keep part of the calming her down forever. <laughs> Where'd you now, bro? Uh, uh, <clears throat> the, 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 the... Head on over the, to the field. The field? I think, I think that's field. where Joseph said his kids were. Sure. We wander out to a grassy field at the center of the park. There isn't a whole lot to see, but there are a few figures camped out on a blanket. And the grass... Something. I didn't click anything. Whoa! That's weird. Okay. Uh, Matt and Carmencita... Look for clues, interrogate for clues, river. Dude. Mm, look for clues. We carefully comb through the field of grass and flowers. I can't seem to find much besides a couple of ladybugs and a nickel. Uh, good. While I'm looking, Craig, Craig finds calls me out from across the field. Key! Oh, man. Jog over. Craig is kneeling in the grass, inspecting something. I approach. My heart in my throat. As I lean over Craig, I see it. This is... <gasps> Arnold's leg. Oh, no! I put my hands over River's eyes. No one should have to be subjected to this senseless violence. My God, who or what would do this? Oh, man. It's Joseph's kids. I don't know. <laughs> but now I think we might be dealing with something beyond our grasp. No, it's his shitty kids. I can't look at this anymore. I turn around, trying to wipe the image from my stuffing strewn... Of the stuffing strewn across stuffing. the ground from my mind. Stuffing. Oh. We're running out of time. We may already be too late. Bag and tag it. Let's keep moving. We maneuver back to the field. I I, I think Matt and Carmen Cita. Let's ask him, yeah. Yeah. Let's talk to Matt and his daughter. Oh. Oh, right. Carmen Cita spots us from across the way and waves. She's sitting down with her dad on a sunny green patch of grass. We jog hey. over. Hey, dudes. Hey, bro. We just sat down for a picnic. Want some snacks? Oh. Got anything to include my gl glycogen reserves? Ah, uh, we have apple slices. Oh. Thank you very much, tiny bro, but I should be fine. Oh. I forgot what English was for a second. <laughs> you guys working out? Good day for it. Yup, I'm the picture of health and athleticism. Hmm. Good transition, Keith. Say, you haven't seen a stuffed capybara around here anywhere, have you? What's a capybara? It's a large neurotens that is native to the South America. Wait a second. How do you know what a capybara is? You wouldn't happen to have hands-on experience with one recently, would you? I learned about capybaras in the fourth grade. I think it's more suspicious that you know what a capybara is. Hey. Oh my god. What if I took <laughs> Arnold? What if I'm the culprit and I just don't remember? I quickly check my body for any Polaroids I might have kept on my person <laughs> to remind me of who to trust and who not to trust. I saw Memento once, and I'm pretty sure that's how it works. How are you fucking Nothing. doing, Memento? <laughs> <laughs> but what if that's what I wanted myself to think? No, Keith. Don't let them win. I shake off the thought. I saw a couple squirrels over by that tree, though. I don't know if that helps, but if you want to see some cute squirrels, you should definitely check it out. Oh. Oh, thanks for the hot squirrel tip. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better get moving. <laughs> Gotta find that capybara here before a river here has a breakdown. Hey. Womp womp. Good luck. Let me get some apples for the road, though. Carmen Cita hooks me up with some uh, road slices, and we're on our way. What the fuck? We maneuver. Loser. <laughs> we maneuver back to the field. Uh, check out those squirrels. <laughs> fuck them, dude. <laughs> fuck the squirrels. Where did the suspect say the squirrels would be again? Up here, button around the corner. The tree, the right? The tree, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, there they are. <laughs> Craig loved that? What, what are you talking about? get it right. Carmen Cedar was telling the truth. These are some rad squirrels. River and if you want to know what the squirrels are like, <laughs> check out the next episode of Squirrel Cade. <laughs> are we Squirrel Cade now? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Do your best squirrel reference. Or, or squ squirrel impression. My best squirrel reference uh, is... is Re impression. Uh, Francis the squirrel. He's my he's my squirrel reference. Um, he, All right, end the good. episode. <laughs> Cut the episode. Come on. Bye, guys. Subscribe. <laughs> What a great episode of Criticade. What did you think, Jacob? It was good. Are you going to drop a subscription? I, I'm not, because I'm already subscribed. Whoa! If you want to be cool like me, you should subscribe, you too. You should probably be cool. Probably be cool. Yeah, only cool people subscribe to Criticade. Yeah, only not cool people don't.